few people today have experienced a pot belly stove. I grew up with one of these in my father's shop. He had no heat, but he had a pot belly stove in the middle of the place and a coal bin so you go shovel coal and put it in there. He didn't put wood in it. And his friends would come in in the wintertime in Detroit and they'd all stand around the pot-bellied stove. This is one of the great inventions that ever was. When you finally got a pot belly stove, you had heat in your house. If you didn't have a fireplace, you didn't have any heat in your house. But this brought heat into the house. You didn't have to build a fireplace. All you had to do is cut a hole in the roof for a stove pipe to go through. That was the only alteration. You did not have to get uh, bricks and build a chimney. And the wonder of the potbelly stove, why it was such a great invention, besides bringing finally heat into the house, like first time bringing a, a telephone or radio or television into the house, is that it radiated heat in 360 degrees. You put it in the middle of the room and the heat goes out in all directions. In a fireplace, the heat only comes out in one direction. So everybody has to crowd around the fireplace in front of it to get any heat. With the pot belly stove, you could sit around the pot belly stove in any direction and enjoy the heat in the uh, in the winter. You know, one of the greatest inventions for the home, like the washing machine.